Okay, we're, uh, we're ready? Today we're sitting down with O.G. Abel, one of my favorite artists and humans in the entire world, and quite possibly the entire universe. Uh, today we're going to get an intimate look at you and who you are as an artist, but, but even more so who you are as a person. Um, who is O.G. Abel? I was born in a small town in the state of San Luis Potosi in Mexico. It was my life from birth to about seven or eight years old. I want to say three or four. When I first started drawing, my mom would encourage me to draw religious drawings. She gave me a pencil and a paper and asked me to draw. One time I drew a lion in the Garden of Eden and all that. And that's probably the one I remember the most that she had asked for and I was pretty proud of. And once I um, came here to the U.S., it was what we had access to the most when you really don't have the video games, toys, and all that other stuff. You have a, a pencil and a paper, and then you have your imagination. So no, nobody can put limitations on what your imagination can do. And from a very young age, my brother and myself found no limit in what we can try to create or envision. We just let our imaginations fly. Majority of my childhood, I was on 92nd between Hoover and Figueroa in South Central. So it was, it was, um, it was a, a rough area. It was a shock. You don't know what's out there. You see a whole world and it's different from what you've known all, all your life at that point. Parents stressed out about um, the bills, the food. I think though, that's what I remember the most. As far as like little things that, that, that happen in the schoolyard or after school, we dealt with that. You didn't want to give your parents more to worry about. And being the oldest, I had to learn how to protect myself and protect my younger siblings. And we grew up fast. When you were a kid, Coming up, you overcame lots of struggles. You know, who you are today is nothing more than a series of able overcoming struggle after struggle and not quitting. What was the most pivotal moment in your life that kind of catapulted you into who you became? It was a shock. To, to all of us because he was different. Not like your ordinary 15-year-old. This kid was special. He was talented. He, he would occasionally joke and say, hey, I can draw better than you. I think that he was better than me at that time. One of the last conversations we had was about his future and, and he was going to do good and, and make my mother proud. Shortly after that, I get the news that he's killed and you think that it's, that it's, that it's bullshit. You, you know, why would somebody kill him? And shot him point blank, unloaded the whole gun on him. From what his friend says, that my little brother at the time turned around and tried to shield himself from the bullets. And as he was dying, that he told, he told him to take care of his mom. not superstitious, I don't believe in luck, but since that happened to him, things had happened somewhat weird like in my life that I take as signs that have kind of pushed me to make adjustments and changes and to trust my gut instinct. I ended up going to LA Trade Tech. I went over there and one of my instructors remembered me from a previous attempt at that class that they were providing it was a commercial art course. I wasn't ready for it years, years before. I got kicked out and when he saw me, he was surprised. And he was like, Abel, like, what are you doing here? You want an ad card? And I was like, yeah. As if I had showed up to sign up for school. I think that saved my life. Because the way I was going, I was gonna end up in prison. I finished the whole course and 
I was awarded the tools for success. I learned, I applied myself to the craft and learned computers. And this was 1996, 97. I learned how to work Illustrator and Photoshop and just started investing in myself far as for, for my future and took on that with a passion as if I was turning myself into my little brother and give him a chance at, li at life through me. Yesterday was dope, man. I got to witness you giving some profound knowledge to a bunch of hungry kids. You, you don't have to do that, right? You can just go on making dope art, making money, um, hustling. What makes OG able want to give back? What makes you want to be that person, be that great inspiration? It was something that, that wasn't planned. And then I, I, I love the way you put everything together and you guys have a great team and gathering up these kids and I never thought I'd, I'd be doing it and surely didn't think I'd be able to get through it because I, it's something that I, I'm somewhat shy with. I'm glad that you gave me the opportunity. It turned out well. I think some of these kids were happy with hearing me out a little bit, you know, and, and then if I can trigger a little bit of a change and turn the trajectory over to a more positive one, it, it was even more of a success. I definitely would like to do that more now at this stage. And I think if you would have asked me 10 years ago, I definitely would have been unprepared. On top of that, looking at, at each one of these kids and the different ages and seeing myself at that age and how many questions I had. It's an honor to have been thought of as somebody that was worthy of these kids' attention yesterday. It was definitely something that you can't put a, a price tag on. If I could help more, count me in. The collaboration, Bishop, OG Abel. People want to know why, so let's talk a little bit about why. To be able to do a collaboration with you, with OG Abel, me as a tattooer and as a fan of you, as an artist and as a friend, I'm excited. In 27 years as a tattoo artist, I've seen more people tattoo your art by far than anybody else. Like you're not a tattooer, but you need no introduction in the tattoo world because every tattooer knows who you are. They've probably tattooed a piece or two you're somebody that when they see that there's a collaboration with Bishop and OG Abel, man, they're gonna, they're gonna want in, especially when they see your sketchbooks. The sketchbook, we try to release something cool, some kind of gift, and, and in this case, this is exciting because everyone's been asking you for a sketch. How many years have people been asking you for a sketchbook? It's a question that I get asked quite a lot. It's great to, to finally be able to say, hey, we got a sketchbook coming out with Bishop, and it's gonna be a sketchbook where you can actually see the sketches of some of my my classics and how they came about and also some pages in there so that you can go in there and, and draw yourself and maybe even trace and shade one of the pieces. So let's talk a little bit about the Phantom. So many options, but we landed on silver. It's a sleek look. We felt it really pops the gold coin on the back. Tell us about the artwork behind the Phantom Machine. The artwork is a piece that I call Time is Money. It's an idea that hit me one day, like always, running out of time. And I was like, man, why couldn't there be 36 hours in a day? It's sad, but time flies. It just points out how important it is for you to value every, every moment of your life. Not waste time so much and don't sweat the small stuff. Focus on things that you cherish. Give a middle finger to negativity, you know? It's, and that's why I changed the Rolex into the, I drop four of the points and let the middle <laughs> one stick out because you need to be focused. And while you're tattooing, what else than to be focused? And you chose the right image for that tattoo machine. There's only 75 of each one, 150 machines. And when they're gone, we all know they're gone for good. Tell us about the artwork that belongs to the OG Abel Bishop V6. The freedom line. The line is the image that I chose to represent what I do from a very young age. The line was just 
my can say spirit animal I think and if I need to I, I, I become fierce I don't need to I, I just have the ability and life has certainly put me through tests that I took on with the heart of a lion that's what I admire a lot about your artwork is there's always a story and that's important and that's what people relate to I mean everybody should relate to time Everybody should relate to having the heart of a lion, but certain people, man, it just speaks to them. It's an honor to be chosen as a collaborator with yourself and your company, and I think the tattoo world, nothing but class. Everyone that has tattooed one of my images on skin has given proper credit and always gives me compliments and feels good that there's a whole unity amongst all tattooers like that. It's so awesome. It's I can't put money on that.